guys, I'm just upgrading my internet from fibre to the curb, which is copper from the street to the house, um, to fibre to the premises, which is um, fibre cable from the street to the house to replace the old uh, copper, copper wiring. So this one here is the incoming from the street, and that one goes into the house. This is the current NTD fiber to the curb uh, connection box. So once the, the new cable is ran and the newer NT, NTD box gets put in, this will be obsolete. And I actually got the upgrade for free because um, I was my property was eligible for the free upgrade, but you have to upgrade your plan to anything over 100 megabytes a second um, to be eligible to get the equipment upgraded for free. Um, so once I ordered the plan online, I think it was about a week, and I think NBM came and put this drawstring in, which just goes down that conduit. And that drawstring is actually at the pit uh, at the front of my house so they managed to get it through through this conduit underneath the concrete slab um, and about 20 meters out to the corner this is the telecoms pit let's open her up so this is my uh, telecoms pit at the front of my house and you can see NBN have already left the drawstring there ready to go to pull the fiber into the house now, I don't know if you can see it, but it actually goes through that conduit there. With the existing copper cable um, over to the house and then up that conduit. Plan is when NBN come, they're going to attach the fiber onto the drawstring and pull it through to here to the connection box. Um, and then there'll be a brand new box here where the fiber joins and then runs into the house uh, Now I didn't want NBN to choose where they wanted to put the box Because um, they might just want to bang it through the wall and just have it sitting on the other side of the wall Which is in an inconvenient spot in the bedroom and I don't really want that So what I've done is I've actually installed um, Telecom's conduit from here up the wall and across over the, to the study and then also down the wall um, and I've just ran the Telstra rope um, within the conduit so all they need to do is pull the fiber into this from the street to here and then uh, from here attach it to our Telstra rope pull it through the wall up into the up through the conduit and then down through into the study so I can pull this rope from here and it actually pulls at both ends nice and easily so this is the conduit I've ran down the wall to where the NBN connection box is gonna go down there um, this is a brick veneer here so I managed to slide the conduit straight down um, this is the crappy old phone line that the old owner has joined a thousand times in the roof space I could fix it up but I was planning on doing this anyway eventually ignore my handwriting i write like a child um so yeah i've got an elbow here it goes down the wall um this is a telecom's 20 mil elbow uh, 100 mil sweep and 20 mil uh comms conduit as well nbn slash telstra conduit um it is different to regular electrical conduit so to go to your wholesaler I just asked for Telstra or NBN conduit 20 mil and I believe you're only allowed to have a maximum of two uh, elbows uh, just to probably make it easier for the NBN guys to pull the fiber through um, and obviously just just glue the glue the conduit at the joins so that just runs straight into the roof space through in there This is the conduit that runs through to the corner of the house. Straight through, I've put a couple of saddles on 
uh, 20 mil saddles on it here and there. Actually, they were 25 mil saddles, 25 mil electrical saddles um, on this 20 mil conduit because the outside diameter of the conduit is about 25 mil, so they actually fit nice and snug. And this is where it goes down the wall here. Um, my writing's a little bit better there. So then I've got the elbow there, and I managed to put um, a couple meters of uh, conduit straight down the wall as well. It doesn't go completely down to where the box goes, but it goes quite a fair way down, just so they can pull it through nicely. Um, obviously, if you can't get the conduit down, just try and get it through the top plate, just so it's a bit easier to pull the fibre through. So inside the house, in the study, just underneath the bench, um, I've got the Telstra rope here. You can pull on it from here and it'll, it'll pull on from the outside as well. Um, so it should be a straight pull through for the NBN. Uh, right near a power point, right near some Ethernet points for the house um, yeah I think the, the box is roughly 200 mil by 200 mil so my NBN appointment was actually cancelled because uh, apparently they had a fault on the fibre side um, so that was on a Wednesday they cancelled um, and apparently they came out and fixed the fault and now it's about a week later a Friday and um, they're here and apparently, when they put the drawstring in, they were meant to pull the fibre in at the same time. So at the moment, the MBN are also running out this cable that goes from pit to pit. Because um, there's a connector here, so the cable runs from this pit to the other pit, and then fibre from the other pit uh, to the house. So you're just tying that fibre cable on to the Telstra so rope to pull it through. Also, there's already a rope here. If there was no rope, then we would have put a, put a rod here. Just to pull it through to the other pull pit. Through, yeah. So now he's attached the fibre to the Telstra rope and he's going to pull it in. So now he's just finding the Telstra rope that runs from this pit yeah. to that pit so he can pull the fibre through. So this is the new fibre cable that he's pulled in with the Telstra rope, he's just disconnected it and then that runs over to the other pit over there. So now what they've done is they've pulled extra fibre through because it was really long, reattached the Telstra rope and pulled it back through uh, the conduit to the other pit um, just so that Telstra rope can be used uh, for other people. So that's called the old DPU, which converts fibre to copper. Um, and this is the new, the new fibre join. It just plugs in and runs over to that other pit. He's now tying it onto our drawstring, which is the orange one, and that'll get pulled up to the house. So now he's just removing the old connection box where the old copper cable is to reveal the draw wire for the fibre. The fibre is now in from the pit to the house. And now he's going to pull in the fibre from the, through the Telstra rope over to the study. So now he's just in a, attaching the fibre to the Telstra rope inside the study. About to pull it through. And now I'm holding it for the NBN. So now the fibre is installed in the study. Uh, let's head over to the corner of the house. So he's just had to disconnect the old copper phone line just to pull the old box off the wall ready to install the new one. So he's just curling the fibre up into the connection box with three to four service loops. 
so now the fiber's just getting stripped back, ready for the fiber connector. Get the right length. So what's that tool called? Cleaver. A cleaver. Fiber cleaver. So that just splices the fiber, does it? It just cuts it at an angle. Just cuts it at a specific angle, ready for the connector. So once the fibre comes in to the box from the street, it's curled up with a service loop and has a connector on the end. Now he's just curling up the fibre that goes inside the house to repeat the process. So now he's just using the cleaver again just to strip the fibre at a certain angle, um, the one that goes into the house, and put in on the fibre connector. So once the fibre is installed, he uses the tester. What's the tester called? Uh, optical power meter. Optical power meter. Just to check the connection of the fiber all the way through to the street. So now the connection to the street has been verified and everything's okay. This is the finished product and it can be closed up. Now the box is mounted inside the study, ready for the fiber to get connected. Now it's installed, he's just plugged it in and it's just powering up. So this is the finished product guys. To open the box you can just put your fingers underneath and you'll feel a little jot out. You just pull down and lift up to expose it. I'm currently just waiting for a couple of text messages from my service provider letting me know that the service is activated. I can then remove my old NTD box and um, run an Ethernet cable from Uni D1 or Uni D4 to my Wi Fi router, but the service provider should specify which port has been programmed ready to use. Normally it's Uni D1 or Uni D4, and the others are just for your voice if you have uh, phones that you want to connect. But talk to your service provider about that. Uh, for the NBN to activate this new NTD box, he had to enter the serial numbers from the NTD itself and the type of power supply he used um, and submit a photo of the reading he got on the fibre connection to the street.